everybody i'm asleep and today we're back with another filler you might notice my voice now more clear i got a new mic so that's pretty cool and today i have a totally original idea and not rip about some guy named diamond bolt what do you mean anyways where i will be taking a look at some ben 10 fan theories where it would range from interesting to just outlandish theories i will be discussing these theories in categories because i wanted this video to have a dilution of structures so it doesn't look like a mess i cooked up in one day also most of these theories got from reddit because somehow it's one of the only website that discuss ben 10 theories so enjoy the video i guess clyde five he's a kid and he has a cool watch that lets him shoot lasers and he for our first theory, I found some voice actor prediction where they would make a whole list on who will voice what alien, what characters in the show. Which now we can take a look after the show ended. Which most of it has been incorrect, but some are very spot on. I don't know if they've been confirmed or anything because I'm not that into Ben 10 while Ben 10 OV was starting out. I also found some characters prediction with some interesting idea like Alpha from the Generator X crossover. <laughs> Where he's like one of the coolest and most memorable characters in probably the whole franchise to be honest Where he replicated Ben Thomnitrix, he could have come back You would have thought he would came back Especially with the final scene revealing as he tried breaking out But nope, he didn't So that's another thing that come with these Ben 10 fan theories Where I don't see a lot of reboot Ben 10 fan series or modern Ben 10 fan series when I search these up Due to most of them being a while, Omniverse is still going But I still managed to find some interesting modern fan theories Which isn't from reddit this time mostly it's from youtube comment section which first one being ultimate getting sick from chocolate the theory is that there's some chemicals in chocolate that his species aren't immune to unlike human or the theory is that ben cannot absorb anodized dna because he's already a part anodite that's why the omnitrix aren't allowed him to absorb it but you might say the crew already rejected this they said that anodite has no dna but it's a crew statement So the canosity of that is still unknown. So that's why some people might go with the theory. And lastly, the reason Paradox got a restraining order by the Celestial Sapien Alien X species is due to him stealing their DNA sample for Ahmed, the creator of the Omnitrix. Just imagine shilling and some guy just corrupt your DNA. But while I look through all these stuff, I came across a Reddit post asking about the most outlandish Ben 10 theory people have ever heard. And one of them are in the next segment. So... Clyde 5, he's a kid and he has a cool watch that lets him shoot lasers and he's The first one of these being the whole Tail God theory, where I saw it not only on the Reddit, but also on a fan theories fandom site, which I think would be originated from, where they would detail how the hotel guard will react to a 10 year old who once sneak into the VIP arcade game and played. The theory goes like this. While Ben was flying a sting fly, helping Kevin, he'll be striked down by a rock from the guard. And when he fall down, he either gonna get beaten to death, getting accused of treason, getting a death sentence, or paying one trillion dollars to New York. All this, it's just because he sneaked into a VP arcade game, by the way. But the reason this theory exists might be from how the guard react by banning the tennyson over this. The next one is Brad Waterpark Assault Theory. Yes, I'm great at naming names. Where Ben assault a guy instead of transforming into Grey Matter to sneak in like in the episode. Which made him go to mental hospital, made his family go bankrupt and got put behind bars for life. This guy is a 10 year old. Yes, he has an Omnitrix that transformed him into aliens, but do you really have to, you know, sue him for 100 trillion dollars? Some of these might make sense, like mental hospital, you know, rehabilitating him a little bit. But most of these stuff are just kind of overreacting a little bit, in my opinion. And as well, you can comment your thought down below if you disagree with any of my point on these theories. Anyways, we're moving on to the theme theory. I don't know where to put it, so I put it in here. Where it said Ben dream about all the crazy shit that happened in the series. Which means he probably has some unsolved mental issue in some part that needed to be addressed. <laughs> or the theory that he got put into the coma because he got hit by the asteroid. Which possibly means he's the strongest child human in fiction. Because he can withstand a fucking asteroid in his face and only got into a coma. And the last theory I got for this second man is feedback is actually an allegory for drugs because Ben got addicted to it and described it as it feels different when he used feedback. This theory as it's actually been disproved by the shows. Ben shows that he cares about his transformation like they're an individual, like they're an actual person. Who are you to say that? 
My transformations are real and she's way more human than you are! Especially with how he described Feedback's death when you actually watch the episode and listen to his tone. And considering their track records in Alien Force where Cartoon Network just outright rejects their season 3 plot, I don't think they would actually try to do a drug allegory in the new show either if less dark plot has outright been rejected by the network. Clyde Five, he's a kid and he has a cool watch that lets him shoot lasers and he Yeah, I don't have any clever transition to this segment either. But this segment is for the funny series I found. With the first one being that Ben is the only being in the universe who can decide whether giving birth or kicking the balls hurt more. A universal question, honestly. Especially with the gender functionality that they have been confirmed. Or canonicity unknown. The second one that I found kind of funny and interesting is Savantis straight up lie. He spreads false information to the main cast and made people think that Kevin is just a mutant, even though he's actually a human hybrid. Also, been a mutated potato. And lastly, I actually have one before this, but I don't think it's interesting enough to talk about, where it said that Ben actually died every time he transformed, which would be very traumatizing to a 10 year old when he transformed the first time. Clyde Five, he's a kid and he has a cool watch that lets him shoot lasers and he I also didn't think of a clever transition for this segment either. But yeah, this segment, I'm gonna rapid fire some of these interesting ones that I found with some of my thoughts. The first one is Block Species actually give inspiration to Lego because they crash land and the creator of Legos saw these blocky aliens and think this guy's children toys would make me rich. Second is explaining why Ben changed his color of choice from black and white to green and black which they said it represent how Ben becoming more important with how the lower importance Galvins like the scientists have black and white attire while the important ones like Asmat wear black and green. So with Ben proving himself Asmat might think hey this kid is good. There's also this one series where they said dupe didn't happen which is probably a cope to how bad this episode was and honestly I was also one to prefer to think that way that the episode also didn't happen and on the subject of covering things up and pretend it didn't exist that's all the theory I want to cover today again there's maybe so much more theory that is interesting and cool that I might have missed while searching up for this video but you guys can also comment below for it and I might make a part 2 if there is enough stuff down there. Anyway, I'm gonna go watch Dupe and cry at it for 500,000 times today. See?